I've got a very interesting question under integration that we need to answer. So, determine the integral of x squared e to the power ux dx. So, each time you have a product of two functions, when you're asked to integrate them, use the method called integration by parts. So, that is the integral of u dv. So, I actually explained that in a certain video on how you can easily remember that. Check it out. So u dv, and then you have a product of two functions, which is u and v themselves, and then you have a subtraction, and then the integral again of the opposite of what you started with. So we start with u dv, so we end up with v du. Of course, dv du implies you differentiated that. Okay. So according to this, we understand that one of them is supposed to be u, and then one of them is supposed to be dv. So we use Liate. I don't know how you can pronounce it yourself. So L I A T E to basically choose U. We prioritize choosing U. So that is logarithms, indices, algebraic functions, trigonometric exponentials. So in this case we have exponential as the last one. So obviously x squared is an algebraic function, so it comes first. So we consider it to be our U in this case. So therefore we are saying our U is x squared and then of course the dv the other part which is now e to the power 3x now if you look at the formula there's need for us to have u and v do we have u yes we do do we have v so this is differentiated okay so v is supposed to be so for us to find our v it is basically supposed to be we integrate what we have so how do we integrate exponential functions you can also check out our video on that so we basically get to integrate exponentials by only dividing by the derivative of the power. The derivative of the power in this case, our power is 3x. Derivative of 3x is what? 3. So that is our that is basically our integral of that. So we do understand that the opposite is true when it comes to differentiating you multiply by the derivative of the power when it comes to exponential functions. Okay, what else is needed? So they also need du. They also need du. V is there, du, they need du. So du basically is derivative of u, which is now going to be 2x. So we have every piece of information that we need. We can now substitute in the function. Knowing that it's, our formula is the integral of u dv. Our u in this case is x squared. So we'll just copy the question as it has been given. So x squared e to the power 3x is equal to so our product of u and v, our u is x squared, right? So we have x squared as our u, and then we have a product of, again, it's v. So we have x squared e to the power 3x over 3 minus the integral of, the other part is v du. Our v in this case is what? It's this part. Okay, so our v is e to the power 3x over 3 multiplied by du. So our du is basically the derivative of u, which is that, 2x. Okay. So now at this point, you understand that for us to simplify this, we need to simplify that a bit further again. Okay. So that is going to be the next step there. Before we proceed to the next step, we'd have to go back to that side. So we have the integral of so write that in different colors. So we have e to the power 3x over 3 multiplied by 2 to the power x. So we have a product of two functions again. So we need to simplify this part. How do we do that? We apply the same rule. It's also a product of two functions. So we apply the integration by parts. So of course, we know exponential and exponentials basically are done at the last ones. Okay. So in this case, we we'll consider our u to be 2 what? So quickly, our u is equal to 2x. So therefore, our dv becomes the other part, which is the exponential, e to the power 3x over 3. So if we have our, our u, we can find our du. Our du is going to be the derivative of that, which is a 2 direct. And then, of course, the last part, the integral of dv, which is going to be v itself, is supposed to be equal to what? So we have v. So let me write that a bit. So we have our v. So how do we basically get to integrate uh, 
exponentials. So we get to basically divide by the derivative of a power. So the derivative of 3x is 3. So if you get to divide, it will be 3 by 3, which is now going to give us a 9. Okay, so we have all we need. Now, if you've forgotten the formula, I'll remind you the formula was the integral of u dv and then the product of the functions itself and then again the integral of what? v du. So, which is the opposite of what you started with. So, in this case, we'll go. So, it is going to be equal to our uv, which is the product itself, the product of our u. So we have 2x multiply against your v. Our v in this case is e to the power 3x over 9. Okay, what are we doing to that? So we need to subtract the integral of v du. So our v is e to the power 3x over 9 multiply du. So du in this case is what? Is 2. So that is our 2. We'll just be there. So, at that point, there's still need for us to integrate this part. Now, this time, this time around is not a product of two functions. It's just a single function exponential. So, what do you do to an exponential for you to integrate it? You basically get to divide by what? You get to divide by the derivative of a power, which is still going to be 3. So, I can just remove that. So, we can just integrate that by dividing by 3. So, which basically gives us, we have 2x e to the power 3x over 9 minus, so 2 on the bottom, 9 times 3 is going to give us 27. So we have on top e to the power 3x. Okay, so we've now dealt with the part that was required. It has been simplified completely. We can now go back to our question. So we now have x squared e to the power 3x over 3 minus. So we'll say minus 2x e to the power 3x over 9. And then minus 2e e to the power 3x over 27. So that's how far we've moved so far. Now remember in the question there was minus this. There was a minus here, right? So we have this minus there. So that minus is going to perform different things to what we had there. So you notice that the first part will remain as a negative. And then as you multiply it, the other part becomes what? It becomes a positive. So we'll say now plus C as our final answer. So we have 1 over 3 as the first coefficient, which is just dividing by 3. And then 2 over 9. And then 2 over 27. So this is basically how we get to perform integration by parts in a part where there is repetitive integration required. I hope you now understand how to go about it. Thank you very much for watching.